Yep, it's muddy. Whew, gotta do what I really don't wanna do. Gotta grab the dozer and pull off of this job. I think we dropped equipment here about a month and a half ago. And I have about probably 25 hours in on this job. It's done nothing but rain. It's, uh, I'd say it has to be one of the wettest springs on record. So I have a bunch of other jobs piling up. I'm gonna have to grab the dozer and go knock some of them out and just come back to this in the summertime, I guess, when it starts drying out. I came here Monday and it was just sloppy. Couldn't do nothing with it. So that's what we're doing. Grabbing a dozer. Gonna go knock out a couple other jobs. And also too, this thing, I've been here so long, I've been able, able to get anything else done. So the money flow has stopped. You know how that goes. <clears throat> so yeah, I gotta knock out a couple, couple of the littler jobs to get some uh, money flowing back in. Ah, oh, look at this. Yeah, I poured again last night. I mean, it rains every day, twice a day. I'm sure customer ain't gonna like that I'm pulling off, but I can't, I can't set around no more. It's already like, I think it's almost the first of June. So, pretty much got five months of the season left really and man, i got a lot of money and time to make up in those five months i'll tell you what because i haven't been able to get you guys know what i'm talking about get your stride get things going let's get her fired up and get her going but here's the project it's coming along we've already raised this four or five foot Oh well, fam, here we are at our next victim. Ugh. Every one of these jobs poses its own different challenge. So I'm working back there where that barn is. I gotta put a pad in. And uh, just getting to it. Like I have to park here on the neighbor's drive. Can't get back in there. Dog wanting to take my leg off. You know how it is. Well, here it is. Another building pad. We just got to shove this off level like that. I did that. Wow. That was probably eight years ago. Something like that. Got the laser set up. Let's take a couple shots. See where we're at. See how much we gotta cut out of here. Be nice to have one where we're just cutting down versus having to find fill or haul fill or whatever. Well, I guess the other one on is a cut, a cut and flip. There it is up here for all the rain we've had. I sure could use a Red Bull today. Didn't bring one. Slacking. Some big frogs in that thing. In that pond. Like when the blade's nice and shiny. Not all that mud and crap hanging off your tracks. You can 
like a rock or something in my track. You guys, you guys know that you run equipment, you hear different sounds, smells, vibrations. You can tell when your machine's different. It's, it's when I'm trucking, I'll drive by somebody that's burning something. I'll be like, what the heck is that? What's, what's burning up on my truck? I look over and make sure the fire extinguisher's handy. It can't happen at will. If you're banging chains, it's gonna come get you. Every, everything and everybody wants their pound of flesh. The universe, every customer, they want it. And I'm not giving it up easy. I've been fighting my whole life and I'm gonna keep fighting. what it's shaping up like. Let's cut this SOB to grade. Give her a quick grade check. That's all right, we gotta put gravel in here. Be just good, went a little low. That's it for this little building pad scrape out. That's the kind of jobs I like when I just go knock them out a day, run a dozer. Hang with us, we'll, uh, we'll be on a new adventure tomorrow. And it's gonna have its own challenges too. We'll see you guys at that one. Hopefully we don't get ran over if you know what I mean. You'll see.